Hello guys and welcome to another video in the series of Linux tutorials. In this video, we are going to talk about some important environment and shell variables that are used in Linux. Along with that, we will also talk about how you can identify whether the given variable is environment variable or shell variable. So let's begin. First of all, we have the dollar $user variable. Okay, and this contains the value of the current logged in user. Right. So if I press ensure, you will see the current logged in user is wiki. Right. So any process, if want to know who is the current logged in user, it can use the dollar user variable. Then we have the dollar home. Okay. It contains the home directory for the logged in user. Okay. So currently it will tell me the home directory for the wiki user. If I press enter, you will see the user home directory is inside home and inside wiki. Okay. After that, we have dollar shell right it contains path of the current shell used by the user okay so if i press enter my current shell is bash and the path of executable is inside bin and there is bash okay after that we have dollar pwd okay so it contains the current working directory right so if i press enter you will see i am currently inside home and inside wiki if i change my directory let's say i go to the document and then if i do echo of dollar pwd then it will tell me the current working directory is the documents okay so now let's say that any process want to know what is the user current shell so it can use the dollar shell variable similarly if any process wants to know what is the home directory of the current logged in user then it can use this variable that is dollar home okay just like that dollar pw can also be used by any process to know where is the current path okay what is the current path in which user is present okay after that we have the one of the most important variable that is the path okay now if you see there is lot of path given here which are separated by the colon okay so any command that i write here for example if i write here ls then first the executable of ls is is try to be found in this location okay after that it is try to be find in this subdirectories okay so these are my some extra path variables that i have set but in your system it is highly likely that your path will be something from starting from this location or from this location okay so whenever i want to run any command first it search whether the executable is present in this location or not okay if it fails then it go to the next location and then next location okay similarly then next location then it looks here okay then it looks here like that after the colon the other paths are written okay if you want to manually change it then you can also change it okay most of the time we never require to change the path variable the only requirement exists when we want to append something for example i can make my personal directory for example let's say i make a personal directory with the name cmd okay and inside it i write some my normal or any my particular executables okay after that I will do here pwd and define this path in this location okay so how you can change it you can change your etc and environment file okay as I explained you in the previous video so you can change this okay, it is asking me for that password and then here you can append your own location okay for example it was slash home then it was let's say wiki and then documents okay and then it was cmd okay so i'll save it now this has also be become a part of the dollar path okay to make it permanent whenever i change my etc environment variable then you have to log out from the system and log in again okay if you don't want to do this then you can also change your bash rc file okay as i explained you in the previous video also okay so it is present in the home directory so you can also do here also okay so what I will do, I will write here export, right, and then the name of the variable that is path, and then I will do dollar path, okay, and then colon, and then the name, okay, whatever I had defined. So I can write here slash home, then wiki, and then the documents, okay, and then the cmd, okay. I will save it and execute this file. And now if you again see the dollar path 
you will see that my custom path has been added to the path variable okay so this is how you can change your dollar path variable okay now let me clear it now we have dollar uid okay in linux whenever a user is created then an associated unique id with that user is also created okay so dollar uid will tell me the current user unique id okay after that if you want to know your computer name or host name then you can use the variable host name okay so my host name is vikram then if you want to know your os type for that you can use os type variable okay so my os type is linux gnu after that we have the variables like ps1 to ps4 okay these variable are used to set our prompt okay now this prompt is a ps1 okay so if you see the value of ps1 then you will see it is really long okay basically these are some codes that are used in linux okay for changing the ps1 right so let's say that i want to change my ps1 temporarily so i can write here ps1 and let's say i'm writing here uh, let's say okay right and giving the colon okay now you will see my prompt one that is the ps1 has been changed temporarily okay to make it permanent you can change your dot bash rc file or the environment file okay so that will also work right so now this string has become my default ps1 prompt okay for other things you can also use some codes like you can use dash or oh sorry slash u okay this is basically for the user current logged in user then you will see it is coming wiki then i can write here any command okay so i should also give here some colon and space okay now it is better so only the current user is coming okay similar to that we have other things like i can use here let's say slash h okay that stand for the host name now you will see it is first slash u and then colon and then the host name which was vikram okay which i also see here okay so this is how you can change your ps1 variable okay so now let me set it to the normal by writing here ps1 equals to and let me just copy and paste it there is also another way that i simply close my terminal and uh, do it again okay but i am just copying paste here okay so this is the ps1 then we have ps2 okay so let's say that i am writing here ls and then using the line continuation character that is the for backward slash okay now what happens when i use it you will see this is coming okay this is basically a prompt to in the line continuation character means that the instead of writing the things in the same line i will be dividing in, into different lines okay so let's say i'm writing here dash l and then again we'll use this slash okay then there will be again this ps2 okay then let's say dash a okay so it will give the long listing along with the hidden file now if i press enter you will see the output is shown okay so this was basically our ps2 now let's change it so i will do here let's say ps2 equals to and i give here let's say only dash u and then nothing okay so again if i run that let's say ls you will see here instead of the greater than it is coming wiki okay which i had set here right so i can do here dash l and nothing else so you will see this was our ps2 changing of ps2 okay now after that we have ps3 and ps4 okay so ps3 is used when you use the case in shell scripting okay so if you know about the shell scripting then there is a term or there is a logic of case okay or switch case if you know any programming language also then you know about the switch case things okay in which we have to select from something okay from the set of option we have to select something okay in that case in shell scripting if you want to change the prompt used by the case or the used by the select then you can change your ps3 variable okay similar to that ps4 is used when you execute your shell script in the debug mode okay i am not diving into the ps3 and ps4 because they are basically used in the shell scripting okay other than that if you want to make your prompt much more fancy then just take an online reference for the codes okay for example slash u was for the user similar to that there are various other codes available okay and also for making it colorful right so now let's clear it now a common question arises that whether a given variable is a shell variable or a environment variable for that what you can do let's say that your variable is dollar user okay so what i will do i will first list all the environment variable 
and then search it with the graph okay so if you see this is present in the environment variable okay then i will do the same with the shell variable okay now if you will notice it is also present in the shell variable so basically our user variable is a environment variable and also the shell variable okay now let's say that you are searching for the ps1 okay so if i do env and then grab it okay you will see it is not present in the environment variable list okay but if i do in the set then you will see it is present here right it is present here right so basically it means that ps1 is a shell variable but it is not an environment variable okay let's say there is another variable that is shell okay so for that i can first search it in the environment list okay then you will see it is present right it is present here and then i will search it in the shell variable then you will see it is also present okay so basically it is also the environment variable and also the shell variable right so this is how you can know that whether the given variable is an environment variable or shell variable or whether it is both for example our shell variable is our environment variable and also it is the shell variable okay so let me clear it now other than this we have some other variables like dollar editor okay and dollar visual okay these are used to make your default editors okay visual is generally for the visual editor and editor for the line editors okay so whenever our process want to use any editor then first it will try to use the editor defined in this variable okay which is also the advanced one and after that it will try if it fails then it will go to this editor okay if you want to set then you can simply write dollar uh, visual equals to let's say that you want to use nano so you can write bin then nano okay so here we define the path of our editor okay so these two variables are also used widely right now one last thing that i want to tell you is that for making the variables or the value of the variables we were editing our dot bash rc file okay but remember that if in a system there exists a multiple user then if i made changes in one user's bash rc file it, it is not going to reflect in the another user's bash rc file okay for example if you see here dash of home then you will see i have three users okay so any bash rc file that i am changing for the user wiki is not going to be changed for the wiki one user okay for wiki one user you have to again change it the bash rc file execute according to the user currently logged in right now if you want to make changes irrespective of the user then you can always change your this etc and environment file okay so any variable that i created in this file will be irrelevant of the user that is logged in okay so if you want to make some variables for the system wide then you should use this file okay for user specific variable you should logged in as your user then you should make changes in your dot bash rc file or any respective file according to the shell you are using okay so keep this point also in mind okay i will talk about how to create multiple users in linux in the later videos okay so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see you in the next video